was behind your buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create interesting gradient filled colour designs with this sort of cube shape. It doesn't look much like a cube shape at this point, but say I go up here, select the rectangle tool and change the colour. And then you've got instant cube. Very basic cube, but a cube all the same. But you can also make it more, much more colourful just by going for a gradient. So these, these gradients here, just select the gradients like that. Now, there's an option here for changing its like radial, angle, etc. So you can go for linear. Now, I'm just going to go for linear at this point. You can also rotate that around. Now, you can create far more interesting gradient combinations by actually duplicating the layer. So I'm just going to quickly go to a layer and duplicate layer. Click OK. Now you can't actually see the underlying layer now. So if I actually go over here, change the actual gradient like that, one of these graphic extras gradients, you can just go like that. You still can't obviously see the underlying, but I can then go over here to the blending mode and I can go for like overlay, difference, and so on and so on. Also I can go up here and I can rotate it, so I can rotate it. So again, you create some more interesting designs there. But one thing you can't do at this point, you know, you can't actually move the origin, you can't move it around, which is not very convenient, but you can just by going over here, two layers. Also, you don't have to have that selected. You can just go up here. Can't obviously change the gradient at this point, but you can just by double clicking on there and bringing up the gradient fill. And then you can change the gradient that way and you can move them around obviously modify the scale a bit that and again you can also go for radial if you want and just change it so literally thousands of different cube designs you can create just by doing that and of course you can add more than just one you can actually add another three four five six to make a very complex thing you can apply the same on the other side if you wish now if you want to actually turn that into a smart object you can select all of that and then just go to layer and so smart objects and convert to smart object. And there you have it, got a nice smart object. Now, sometimes, and it does happen occasionally, that combination will not work. So you will end up with a, you'll lose the gradient detail. And a quick way around that is actually to create a, a background. So if you've got the, the white background, it's just to create another layer with a white fill behind and then add that into a smart object. That's certainly a way of a solution around that. And there you've got a nice smart object, which of course you can then duplicate, move around, and combine. And if you want to, obviously you can resize, just change that to create a, an interesting sort of cube design. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.